for this shot, I'm nesting a sequence inside a sequence inside a sequence. So let's take a look how it's done. We start off with this light sequence and it has three lights on the side and three lights here. And these are just basic animations uh, animating from one side to the other. This is the next sequence. And what we do is we import the light sequence. And when we right click here, we can say somewhere can loop. So we tick that. And now we can extend this. So what will happen now is that the sequence inside the sequence will loop and we can do some fun stuff with the camera. In this case, I have a, a camera actor and I have a sphere. The sphere is in the middle of the stage and I'm attaching the camera to the sphere. When I rotate the sphere, it rotates the camera because it's attached, right? So we open up another level sequence and we put the camera sequence inside of here. So we have it here. The reason for this is I want to have a voiceover here and it takes a little bit more time and I can add these fade in and fade outs here. That's it. 